you're interested in Islam or you're curious about Islam or you think and or know that Islam is the truth, but you're still hesitant, these are five things that made it so much easier for me to revert. The first thing is just understanding that all of the prophets that are found in the Bible, that are found in Christianity and are found in Judaism, the Old Testament and the New Testament, are also found in the Quran. In fact, to be a Muslim, we have to believe in all of the prophets. Adam, Noah, Moses, Abraham, Joseph, Jacob, all of them, Jesus. We can't be a Muslim without believing in them. And all of these prophets are named in the Quran. They're found in the Quran by name. The second thing that brought me so much peace is knowing that Jesus and Mary are honored in the Quran. They're honored in Islam. In fact, the only chapter named after a woman is Mary. And Jesus is mentioned in the Quran by name more times than Muhammad, peace be upon them both. It's a beautiful religion, but that brought me so much peace because even though growing up, I never found Christianity made sense. I still felt as though I was betraying the only religion that I knew, the only religion I grew up exposed to. But the more I got into Islam, the more I realized I wasn't betraying my beliefs. I was simply refining my beliefs. I was now given the opportunity to see everything with clarity because Islam is not blind faith. It's emotional and logical. It's rational, it's objective, and that's beautiful. The third thing that brought me peace, and this might be a weird one, but it's when I found out that Allah is simply the God in Arabic. That Islam simply means the submission to the will of God. That Muslim simply means one who submits to the will of God. It's just Arabic. It's just a language. But it brought me peace because it made me realize that as I started learning more about religion as a whole, I saw that every single prophet practice this. They all preach this. They all believe this. The oneness of God. To submit to the will of God. Every miracle that we grew up learning about, it was only performed because Allah gave them permission to. Every word that the prophet said, they were literally said only because Allah gave them permission to. That's why even in the Bible we see so many examples of Jesus saying, by the will of the Father. Not my will, but the will of the Father. Because Jesus was a prophet, and everything he did and said was because God commanded him and allowed him to say it. The fourth thing that brought me peace is knowing that I can take my time. It took 23 years for Islam to come into full fruition. 23 years. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, received revelations for 23 years. And that is because Allah already knows it is a slow and beautiful journey that we're meant to take our time. That this religion is as much about unlearning things as it is about learning new things. That it's about reframing the way you think. It's about healing your heart. It's about becoming that pure canvas that you can paint new things on, new understandings. All the rules and regulations, it came later, but it's the hearts that were changed first. So you can take your time. In fact, it's encouraged to take your time. And the last thing was knowing that I do not have to tell a soul. You do not need to tell a soul. If you feel worried about being judged by your family or your friends or your coworkers, you don't have to tell them. Allah, knowing you're a Muslim, is enough for as long as you feel comfortable. Because we have to remember, Allah is the controller of hearts. You will feel comfortable when the time is right. It may be weeks, it may be months, maybe years, but you don't have to worry about that. The day you're going to tell people, Allah already knows it. It's already written. Just focus on building up that relationship with the same God that you've always loved. Because what Islam does is it allows your mind to catch up to all the things that you already have in your heart. That's why when you read the Quran, nothing feels like it's new. Nothing. Even if it seems like it's brand new, something in your heart just recognizes it as the truth. Imme immediately. That's the beauty of Islam. 
It's already there. We've always, every single person has been born with that innate love for God. And it's just the mind catching up. So I hope this helps because it definitely helped me that there's a reason why Islam is considered not just the final religion, but the completed religion. It's like every single prophet was passing a torch on to the next person and the next person. And Jesus passed that torch on to Muhammad, peace be upon him. Because it's all about the submission to God, the oneness of God. That's it.